Speaker Robin Voss calling on the UW Board of Regents to reconsider their rejection of a deal that would have scaled back the number of diversity positions. The deal was narrowly voted down during an emergency meeting on Saturday. Democrats want the money that would have gone to employee pay raises to be released. In a first alert update, Samantha Cavalli has a reaction from lawmakers on both sides. Friday, a deal was set to freeze hiring for diversity positions, drop an affirmative action faculty hiring program at UW-Madison, and create a position focused on conservative thought at the flagship campus. The deal also would have given UW employees a raise and help fund building projects. Representative Lee Snodgrass of Appleton, a Democrat, says many in the BIPOC community, which stands for Black, Indigenous, and People of Color, were worried the university was not going to side with them, saying in the end the university realized the value that diversity, equity, and inclusion is a global issue. Snodgrass believes comments made by regents of color swayed the vote. It's a really powerful conversation, and I think people realize, you know, we're, we're being too quick here. We're making a mistake if we disregard these people. Republican Representative Ron Tussler of Harrison says this isn't a big ask. We want to give these people their raises. This isn't about that amount of money. But unfortunately, when the legislature holds a purse, this is one of the leverages that we have. So we're hoping that, you know, asking this simple thing should be granted. And the fact that it isn't is a little ridiculous. Back in October, Republican lawmakers blocked pay raises for UW employees until it cut spending on positions that promote diversity. Representative Snodgrass calling it bribery. Representative Tussler responded to the claims of bribery, saying this is about improving the campus climate and DEI has not produced results suggesting they are improving the campus. This is legitimately what the legislature is for, and that is to control this money so that we don't waste money like we currently are. I'm really hopeful that finally we can stop playing games. We can get these raises that people deserve, and we can go ahead and we can move forward on some of these things that really require an investment of the legislature in funding. Regents say they plan to hold a closed-door meeting Tuesday to, quote, deliberate and negotiate funding proposals and matters. Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News.